It could very well be the final game of the NBA season, so time to prepare you with all the trends, stats, and angles you need to bet game four between the Celtics and Mavericks. Remember, at any time, feel free to comment with your favorite bet for tonight's game. You can also let me know what you think of my breakdown by smashing that like button. Okay, first, let's look at the total. As you know, all three games so far in the series have stayed under. That has a lot to do with the fact that the fourth quarter under is a perfect 3-0 in this series as well. Overall, though, we have seen scoring slightly increase with each passing game. 196 points total in game one, 203 in game two, 205 in game three. At the same time, odds makers are decreasing the over-under line. If you recall, game one saw the overtake in and out of money, closed at 217 and a half. Game two closed at 215. Game three closed 214 and a half. In every instance, Betters pushed the number up and got burnt as a result. For game four, though, the number is now sitting at 211 and a half. That is a series low. And so I suppose the question is whether or not now is the time to jump in on the over. I have largely stayed away from betting totals in this series, save for a loss with Dallas team total over in game two. If you recall, heading into game two, the Mavs were off a dismal shooting effort in game one. They did manage to shoot 47 0.5% overall from the field in game two. But guys, three-point shooting, I've talked about this before, has been a massive issue for Jason Kidd's team in this series. They are now a horrific 22 of 78 from behind the arc in the three games. That's 28.2%. But quite frankly, it's not been just the poor percentage, but the number of attempts the Mavs are averaging just 26 three-point attempts per game. That is well below their season average of 38. Right now, the math just isn't there for Dallas. Has yet to score 100 points in any game. And even worse, Boston has doubled the number of three-pointers made in this series, 43, uh, on 127 attempts. That's not even a great percentage, 33.8% as game two was the Celtics' second worst three-point shooting game of the season. Yet they're still up 3-0 in the series and averaging 106 points, right above where their team total is set at for game four at 105 and a half. And I like Boston over that team total here. You know the number of three-point attempts is going to remain high. I would not be surprised to see them shoot a better percentage tonight. After all, 38.4% from the year behind the arc. This was the league's most efficient offense during the regular season. They have scored 105 or more in 13 of 17 playoff games thus far. Uh, two of the games where they would not have gone over this, they landed exactly on 105. So it's very rare that Boston scores under 105 points. We need just one more point from them uh, to get over this team total. I think they're going to do it. They've been averaging 106 on subpar shooting, at least by their lofty standard. Let me know what you think of Boston over the team total down in the comments section below. Of course, uh, you can do that with a simple like. Just smash that thumbs up button. Also, feel free again to comment with your favorite bet for game four. As far as the side is concerned tonight, I do have a play on it right now at wagertalk.com. And it can be yours for only $5. It is customer appreciation day over at Wager Talk. So head on over to my page. WT.buzz slash BP to pick up my 4% best bet for just $5 right now. It's been a great season, guys. I'm on a 97, 67, and 2 overall run in the NBA, plus 65.5 units. That includes 34 and 19, my last 53 plays. Now, some things you may or may not already know. I'll just throw some tidbits in here for you. Kyrie Irving, 0-13, his last 13 games against the Celtics. We're now a perfect 7-0 straight up on the road this postseason. Bill Simmons, not necessarily my favorite talking head in the world, but he did have an interesting tweet yesterday that the Celtics could become just the sixth team in NBA history with 80 or more wins and 20 or fewer losses in the same season. They are currently 79 and 20 straight up. So looking to make a little bit of history are the guys from Beantown here tonight. And you get back to the total for just a moment. The Celtics are 7-0 straight up this season when coming off three or more consecutive unders. But one trend that they do have to overcome tonight is that Dallas this season is a perfect 4-0 straight up and against the spread. Went off three consecutive losses. 
Again, though, my favorite bet here for uh, uh, on the video today is Boston over its team total. And that's going to do it for me for this NBA Finals Game 4 preview. One more time, if you like what you heard, don't be shy about smashing that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? We've got a ton of exclusive sports betting content for you, covering not just the NBA, but Major League Baseball, even the Euro Cup. I'm on a 17-5-1 and one soccer run. Oh, by the way, check out the Morning Wager with me and Mark Zinno. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.